do have a wobbly drill bit, but I'm just wondering whether it's the tip of the drill bit that's a little bit bent, but the rest is okay. Because the rest of it seems all right. It's definitely not the drill press. Now, I'm probably not going to drill all the way through. I've got this set up so it'll reach the end just before it gets all the way through, but I want to I hopefully want the tip just to get the other end, then I can drill it from the other side. If it does go all the way through, it's not a big drama because um, because if it chips out, if it tears out at the other end, it doesn't really matter. And the reason. The a little chunk off my uh, template. This is a template that turned out to be a dud anyway, so it's okay, but shouldn't have, yeah, never take it out while it's still spinning. This router bit here, which the bearing is bigger than the bit, so what I can do is cut a lot of this material out and put this in. This will run along the edge, but it will leave a lip all the way along. the ridge I was talking about which is looking really nice I've left a little bit here because I want to my screws to go in here and I'm thinking about inserting uh, threaded inserts in there for the screws to go in so I'm going to try and leave a few blocks I want to leave a block maybe around here somewhere I've got a ridge all the way along with a point here here and here for putting screws into
So if I've done the editing right, you just saw me cut this off from a scrap piece that I used for my headstock. So that's what we're going to use for the hatch. The first end, what I'm going to do is just now put my template on to get that shape, the first end. The second end, when I do it, uh, once I've done this, I'll put this like a little bit further up so it's bigger than it needs to be, cut it to that shape and then gradually sand it down until it fits. That way we'll get a tight fit, I hope. Think if I put if I line that up and then we just pull it back, oh we yeah we got a fair bit to sand. No, no, I've got a fair bit to move. I, <laughs> I don't want to push it all the way down because I don't think I can get it out again. Say that must be it, because this one's going really easy as well.
screws are in. Uh, I'm quite happy with how it looks. It looks fairly professional. Uh, they go in all right. And I can always change these if I think these buttons sit too high, uh, which I kind of do. I think they sit a little bit high. I can swap them over because they're bolts, they're not screws. And because as long as I get three millimeter bolts, I can put any bolts in here. So that's another advantage of using sort of nut sets and stuff like that. I think I might have a major problem. Whenever you try something new, it's a bit of a risk. And using spotted gum was a risk. I originally had this little bit of a gap here, which was just due to the sanding you know, not being quite matched. But now it's getting bigger. And it's on both sides. I've got this line. If you look at the back here, I had this, I had a, like a little bit there, but now it looks bigger. And now I think it's spreading down. I think that the maple here is breaking away from the spotted gum. And this line here, there really didn't used to be a line on this side at all. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flood, fill this with sawdust and flood it with super glue. And hopefully we can uh, stop this from going any further. It's always been my intention to fill this with sawdust. Uh, and I was going to leave it to the uh, right to the end before I do the finishing. But I think it's getting worse. So I need to, because that there, where my finger is there, that wasn't open before. So I need to do this straight away as an emergency. I'm using glue boost because it's super thin and it will soak in and get into uh, everything. This is not sawdusty enough, I think. We need something that's more sawdusty than that. That's a bit too much like shavings. So now what I want to do is get most of this off. Now I'm going to flood it with glue and then I'm going to put more sawdust on it. So I've had that thing for a while and it hasn't clogged up. It's been really good and all of a sudden now it decides to clog up. I hope you enjoyed that and if you did please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more please consider subscribing to Cheapskate. Have fun.